Good evening, Adam here. Today I want to talk a little bit about folders versus links inside of Obsidian and which I prefer and why. And uh, the too long, didn't watch version is I much prefer links over folders, although you'll see that I do have some folders. Uh, so I'm going to sort of describe why you may want to lean one way or the other. And uh, honestly, uh, Obsidian leans more towards linking. I, while other programs such as Notion, more for folders. So folders, I think, are more useful for more hierarchical view where you're trying to do a top-down tree structure of folder, subfolder, sub-subfolder. Uh, it can be very useful for those types of, of uh, sort of structures, while links is basically a, you know, a link between two different pieces of content. So, for example, this is a fleeting note I did today about the website and YouTube channel that I, you're currently watching right now. And I, I saw a website I thought might have some good ideas for some articles uh, and or YouTube videos. And then I linked it to my website, which has a list of all the different websites I have. Uh, so that's sort of links more organic. I So for folders, I will say there is some benefit, and I do use a few. I, I have a daily notes folder. Uh, I have a a folder specifically for my legal stuff uh, because it tends to have client names and other personal information so I want to keep that all separate from all my other stuff. I have a people folder just to have basically specific names of people and honestly I might get rid of this at some point because I have a people tag as well and then you have to have a templates folder if you're going to do templates. Uh, but otherwise you see there's an everything else folder because I use the Zettelkasten method which is the fleeting notes the permanent notes, the literature notes, and then your mock, which is your map of content. I So everything that's not I, work related or a template basically, or my daily notes, which I keep separate, I goes into that everything else folder. So I, I think links are essentially the, the reason why you would use Obsidian in the first place so that you can click click and go back and forth. So let's just go to one of my, go to one of my mocks. So let's just go to my personal investing one. So you'll see that I have websites as well inside of this map of content. I, and it just gives all these nice links. And let's just say I go to my uh, brick and mortar, which has different brick and mortar investments I'm considering going into. And then I can go and see backlinks from other pages. I so you know you can see there's a laundry mat that backlinks to this web this this page. There's a personal investing link that comes back to this page, uh, and it gives you some ideas to the structure of your uh, you know basically the structure of your knowledge vault, which is what this is. Uh, folders aren't going to do that. Folders is just going to be a structure, everything in it. You know, it's just going to have everything listed. It's not really going to show any interconnection. And uh, while you can do subfolders inside your folder to sort of structure it downward, it's it's very static. You know, the the ability to cross-reference pieces from a subfolder to a different subfolder or even a different main folder, I uh, it's not designed for that purpose. I it's that that sort of subfolder structure I think is more intentional for. I, something that's collaborative. So Zettelkasten is not intended to be collab collaborative. It's intended to be a personal discovery system, personal knowledge system, uh, not really intended to share with anybody else. Uh, if you want to share information with somebody else, you would just pull it out, put it into a form that they can use, send it to them. I, you know, there are other systems, such as Notion or MediaWiki, I, I think MediaWiki is probably my favorite that are more of a collaborative environment. And I, well, MediaWiki is not a great example for that because it doesn't have any file structure system. Actually, MediaWiki is more similar to Obsidian. I, but Notion uses sort of the traditional structure. So I, I think that this sort of lays out my basic thoughts on folders versus links. I think folder for templates, folder for notes is fine. Uh, if you have a very specific purpose for a folder, such as something you're going to be moving around a bunch, uh, that you're not going to be linking to a whole different things, uh, then yeah, maybe. You, you may want to go that way. 
but if you're using it in that way, you know, if you're using the, the note in that way, perhaps it shouldn't be going into obsidian. Uh, if it's something that's being manipulated and, and moved back and forth and changed a lot, I, I, I don't really think that's not really what I use obsidian for. I guess you could. I mean, it is just text files. You can, you can use it any way you want. Uh, I hope this was helpful. It's really just sort of my thoughts on the two different structures. I don't think there's a right or wrong way to use Obsidian. I just think that if you are more of a folder structured kind of person, that this uh, program is not really the best fit. And, you know, I, I use this program and I like it. It's because I have sort of that, uh, if you've ever seen the analogy of gardener versus uh, architect for writing, where a gardener tends to engage in self-discovery, wander around, pick at things, uh, and just sort of see where it leads you. Uh, an architect, on the other hand, builds a, a very nice, orderly structure and then fills in all the gaps. Uh, I lean more towards Gardener, which is why I lean more towards Obsidian. An architect is going to lean more towards that folder, subfolder, substructure, uh, a hierarchical structure, which may be a better fit for something like Notion or even something like uh, Apple Notes. All right. Thanks.